a very good morning students let's start a journey with me today i shall talk on our casolina tree composed by torudat torudat was one of from those writers who considered french as her mother tongue her first volume of poetry was also in french she was a bengali translator and a poet who wrote in english and in french but she died at a very early young age of 21 she is considered as john kids of indian english literature the poem our casolina tree was published in 1881 she spent her childhood under the casolina tree with her brother abjo and her sister aru this poem is an autobiography which explores her childhood memories with her brother and her sister who died at a early age of their lives like a huge python winding round and round the rugged trunk intended deep with scars up to its very summit near the stars a creeper climbs in whose embraces bound no other tree could live but gallantly the giant wears the scarf and flowers are hung in crimson clusters all the boughs among where upon all day are gathered bird and bee and oft at night the garden overflows with one sweet song that seems to have no close sun tackling from a tree while main repose when first my casement is wide open thrown at dawn my eye is delighted on its rest sometimes and most in winter or its crest a gray baboon sits statue like alone watching the sunrise while on lower boughs his pony of spring leap about and play and far and near kokilas held the day and to their pastures went our sleepy cows and in the shadows on the broad tank cast by that our tree so beautiful and vast the water lily spring like snow in mast but not because it's magnificent dear is the casolina to my soul beneath it we have played though years may roll o oh, sweet company is loved with love intense for your sakes shall the tree be ever dear blind with your images it shall arise in memory till the hot years blind my eyes what is that dirge like murmur that i hear like the sea breaking on a shingle beach it is the tree lament on airy speech that help i to the unknown land may reach unknown yet well known to our faith ah i have heard that well far far away in distant lands by many a sheltered bay when slumbered in this cave the water wraith and the waves gently kissed the classic shore of france or italy beneath the moon when earth lay trances in the dreamless one and ever time the music rose before mine in our vision rose a form sublime thy form thy form o tree as in my happy prime i saw thee in my own loved native clime therefore i faint would consecrate a lay unto the honor tree beloved of those who now in blessed sleep for a repose dearer than life to me alas were they mayst thou be numbered where my days are done with deathless trees like those in barodel under whose all branches lingered pale fear trembling hope and death the skeleton and time the shadow and though we the worse that would die beauty fain o oh, fain rehearse may love defend thee from oblivion scars see the appearance of the casolina tree this tree can be seen in australia a creeper has covered and surrounded the casolina tree like a huge python now what is this python python is python is a snake so here she wants to tell that a creeper had covered and surrounded the casolina tree like a huge snake like a huge python the creeper holds the tree so tightly that it has left the marks or sign on its trunk if this creeper would hold or hug the other tree so tightly it would not be alive but the casolina tree is too strong to sustain this hold 
It has worn the creeper around itself like a scarf. Its hide is near the stars and the sky. The poet considered it as a giant which has surrounded by flowers like a crown. The bee attracts towards the flowers and the beauty of the tree invites the birds and the bees during the daytime. But at night, what happens at night? At night, the garden surrounded by the tree is filled with a melodious music, a melodious song which has no end. The poet used to listen this sweet music at night. Here, we can see the appearance of the tree which is in its mature stage and ready to bear every burden on it happily. Now let's move towards the second stanza of this poem. Here, the poet shares her experiences with the Casuarina tree. She opens her window during the dawn period, means during the early morning period, and her eyes fixed upon the tree. The tree delights her. It gives a satisfaction to her soul. Sometimes, especially during the winter season, she has seen a grey color bubble sitting on the top branch of the Casuarina tree. This bubble sits like a statue and waiting for the first ray of the sunlight. And his puny offspring plays around the lower branch of the tree. The near and the far coquillas give the indication of the sunrise to all. The sleepy cows has awakened with the sunrise and go towards the pastures. The shadow of this casuarina tree falls on a broad tank and this tank is near the tree. Some lilies have grown on this water tank. The white lilies cover the tank in such a way that it looks like a heap of snow. It looks like the snow gathered on a place. Now let's move towards the third stanza of this poem. The poet has cleared her view here as to why she dearly loves the Casuarina tree. She says, the tree is dear to my soul, not because of its beauty. It has remained dear to her because she played with her siblings under this tree in her childhood. The tree reminds her childhood in front of her eye. She loves her sister and her brother from the depth of her heart and the tree gives her the images of the intense love. Here, those childhood remembrance of the poet is connected with the Casuarina tree. The images of her brother and sister came in front of her eye while she looks at the tree. Those childhood images are blended with tree and appears in front of her eye till then her hot tears wash her eyes. This tree has started crying due to her sorrow and pain. Its sound is so scary and sorrowful as if the sea water is hitting the stones. This voice will go so far. The poet has heard the voice of this tree far away. The voice will go to an unknown place. The land is unknown for the common people, but is very well known for the known people. Here the poet speaks about a place after death that can be said as the next world or paradise or heaven. Now let's move towards the fourth stanza of this poem. The poet spent her childhood with her sibling in India and now she composed this poetry while she was in France. Here in the fourth stanza, she says when she is on another place or far away from her hometown, it seemed to her that this tree is always near to her. It is talking with her when the whole world was quite under the shadow of the moon, the poet heard the voice of this tree. The music of the tree touches to her heart. Due to this music, she can recollect all her childhood memories. The poet presents an in-depth connection with the Casuarina tree. She takes us to an unknown land where the waves gently kiss the classic shore and arouses the memory of the tree in front of her eyes. Now let's see the fifth stanza of this poem. In the fifth stanza, the poet says, by pointing towards the Casuarina tree, she says, I missed my old childhood memories because of you. Therefore, I want to erect something in your honor. I want to compose a song for you because you were so dear to those who have slept forever. They are resting in a peace. I would like to dedicate a song for you so that you will become immortal. People will remember you forever 
my song will keep you alive forever may the lyric of my poem be weak but whatever i have composed i composed it with my sincerity with my sincere heart with my faith my poem may be weak but my love cannot be weak in such a way torudar says that she will make the kasurina tree immortal in her song and the world will remember the tree even after it die thank you